beautiful? Oh, hi. Hey, we are deep underground in the Kawati Caves. They're near Kawakawa, and that's in the far north of the North Island. And I'll tell you what, it is so dark in here. If I didn't have a light on my helmet, I wouldn't be able to see a thing. See what I mean? But there are lights in this cave. Look up there. You know, they look just like stars. Ah, oh, but hang on, we're deep underground. That can't be the night sky. So maybe they're glowworms. If they're glowworms, we'll have to be very quiet. Glowworms hate noise, especially the police glowworm. They're the ones with the blue light. <laughs> no drum sound effects. Oh, I'll have to remember not to tell bad jokes. Oh, they're so beautiful. They just glow like fairy lights. Hey. But why do glowworms glow? Hmm? So that people can see them? Because they're nice and splack sparkly. They come from electricity. Because they shine. Because they're electric. So people can see the way through the cave? Because of the light in the cave. They glow because it's dark. Because they're called glowworms? Well, you could be right, but I think that glowworms glow so they can see where they're going. A bit like this light on the helmet helps me see where I'm going. So maybe all glowworms are wearing little helmets with tiny little lights on. You know, that would be a really good idea if a worm wore a helmet like that. <laughs> then you could work out which end was the head. Hmm, I've never seen a worm with a helmet on. I'm just going to have to take a closer look at these little guys. And for that, I'll need night vision. Oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> look, I know rabbits can see really well in the dark, but I don't think eating carrots is going to help me. You don't have anything a little more high tech? Oh, now you're talking. OK, let's check them out. Oh, well, I can't see any helmets. And they don't really look like worms. Glowworms are actually the larva stage of a two-winged insect called Arachnocampa luminosa. Phew, it would have been much easier if they just called it Fred. Anyway, the reason why it has such a big name is that scientists use a language called Latin to name things. And here it is, Arachnocampa luminosa. The arachno part means that it's related to spiders, Campa means caterpillar, and luminosa means it lights up. Now let's have a look at the insect cycle. Not that kind of cycle, I mean life cycle. Oh, well, that's better. First, the insect starts as an egg, which leads to the old question. Which came first, the arachnocampa luminosa or the egg? Or was it the chicken? Oh, I forget. Anyway, once the egg hatches, it moves onto the larva stage. This is when it starts glowing and becomes what we call a glowworm. After that, it's onto the pupa stage, where it just hangs around on a long thread. Then it's out into the big, wide world as a full-grown adult insect. The whole cycle takes about 11 months, and then it begins again. I still don't know why glowworms glow. Maybe if we find out how they glow, that would give us some clues. Hmm. I wonder if glowworms have a tiny little light bulb in them. A tiny version of this one here. But how would they power them? We use electricity to power our light bulbs, so maybe glowworms are electric. Well, I've heard of electric eels before, but never an electric worm. Hmm, that can't be it. Yow! I forgot how hot light bulbs were. Mm. When an electric current passes through a light bulb, most of the energy is turned into light. But some of it is also given off as heat, and light bulbs can get very, very hot indeed. You know, if glowworms had light bulbs in them like this, they'd get pretty hot too. So maybe there's another way of making light without so much heat. Oh yeah, thank you. Have you seen these things before? These are glow sticks. You might see them at concerts in the dark. Well, how they work is that they've got a liquid inside them, and inside the liquid are little glass bubbles filled with another kind of liquid, 
When you bend the glow stick, the glass bubbles break and the two liquids mix together. And when that happens, a chemical reaction takes place. Those two liquids mix together and the atoms inside them start flying around and bumping into each other. And when that happens, some energy is released as light. Now scientists call it luminescence. And that means light which is not caused by heat. Let's take another look at those glowworms. They produce a chemical called luciferin. And when the luciferin mixes with the oxygen in the air, a chemical reaction happens, just like the glow sticks. The energy from this reaction makes their tails light up. Once again, it's our old friend luminescence, but because it happens in nature, this time it's called bioluminescence. Well, now we know how glowworms glow, we need to work out why they glow. Oh, look at these insects flying around my light bulb. Cool. Have you noticed that before, how moths and things fly around light bulbs at night? Well, that's because insects are attracted to light, just the way your good friend Susie is attracted to chocolate. Mmm, I tell you what, just thinking about that makes me feel hungry. I wonder what glowworms eat? What? Glowworms eat light bulbs? You mean glowworms eat bugs? Oh, all of a sudden I don't feel hungry anymore. When the insect is at its larva or glowworm stage, it has just hatched out of its egg and it needs to grow. So one thing it needs is food, just like you and me. Glowworms put out these sticky lines, kind of like a spider's web. And when insects fly towards the glowworm's light, they get stuck. And for glowworms, that means dinner time. They just haul up the lines a bit like a fishing line and they begin to munch. Gross, I've heard of fly fishing before, but this is ridiculous. Scientists believe another reason that glowworms glow is to stop bigger things from eating them. Now, if I saw a sign like this, I wouldn't want to eat here. And a glowworm's glow is just a bright sign saying, don't eat me, I'm bleh. So, glowworms use a chemical reaction to make their tails glow. And they use their light to attract insects that they want to eat and keep away insects that might want to eat them. After all, they don't want to become a light meal. Oh yeah, that's right, no drums allowed. Maybe next time I tell a joke, you could just have a little bit of drums? Oh, cool. Okay. Well, a glowworm's glow is more than just making them look pretty. And if you cut a glowworm's tail off, he'd be pretty upset. Or would he be delighted? Okay, stop. No more drums today, okay? Okay. Hey, here's something for you to do. Try and find out if you've got glowworm caves near you. They make great places to go with your class or with your family. Just ask your parents or teacher if you can go check them out. Or if you can get your hands on two glow sticks like these, put one in the fridge to cool it down and the other one under your arm to warm it up. Then see if it makes a difference. I'll let you in on a clue here. Heat speeds up the chemical reaction. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. You know, I enjoyed the visit to these glowworm caves so much, I've decided to recite a poem. Here goes. <coughs> I wish I were a glowworm, a glowworm's never glum. How could you be sad when the sun shines out your... Um, I think it might be time for me to go. I'll see you next time. Kaki there. Or, if you can get your hands on a couple of glow sticks like this, you put one in the freezer to cool it down once it's been untangled. And luminosa means it lights up. No. This program was brought to you by New Zealand on air.